Los Angeles via Air Canada flies more people more often to more places in Canada from the United States than any other airline. So fly the airline that knows Canada best, Air Canada. You'll travel to Quebec City, perched on a rock above St. Lawrence River. This fun-loving capital is said to be the most beautiful city on the continent. French in flavor, French in custom, French in savoir-faire, furnished by Quebec City. Plus, shake up your mouth with delicious, refreshing Dentine Dynamins. The smaller they get, the stronger they get. Delicious Dentine Dynamins and... Edward's diamond and ruby encrusted 18 karat gold frog pin furnished by Jewels by Edward of Beverly Hills plus a thousand dollar gift certificate from the famous Spiegel catalog with more than 500 pages new twice a year with over 50,000 quality items providing value selection and economy furnished by Spiegel that's it Peter thank you Kenny let's go to home audience to keep the squares and other stars are brief before the show to help them with the bluff but they're hearing the actual questions for the first time Jimmy won the toss backstage good luck to whom are you going my friend I'll try Lonesome George Lonesome George, according to French wine experts, was 1969 a good or a bad year for wine? Now, this has got to be a trick question, because there's never been a bad year for wine. <laughs> <laughs> Something's been better, but no bad. No, 1969 uh, should be, because the odd years usually are uh, good wine. a good year for wine. I agree. A very good year for us. It was a very good year. Nanette February, please. According to the classic old song, while strolling through the park one day, you remember that song? You were taken by surprise by what? While strolling through the park one day. Doodly 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 Roving eyes. <laughs> roving eyes. Dum, dum. I'll agree. Yeah, roving or roguish eyes. We're going to very good. Yes, we lovely, beautifully done. Little circle. Jimmy, your turn. I'll try Joan Rivers. Joni, in 1877, Thomas Edison did something amazing with tinfoil. What did old Tom Ed do with tinfoil? I'm shocked at tinfoil and Thomas Edison because it's a sexual thing. Um, no, no, no. I, I read about it in Cosmopolitan Magazine. You get completely undressed because I did this two weeks ago to get your spouse happy. And I wrapped myself up in tinfoil and I laid down on the dining room table. And when Eggie came home, I said, and he went, leftovers again. <laughs> so, um, I guess... What did Thomas Edison do? His marriage was failing. <laughs> or uh, he used it to put into the light bulb to make the, oh, the light bulb. I agree. No, he recorded on it. He covered the cylinder of his first recording machine with tinfoil. Put a circle there. Randy. Uh, John Davidson, please. John, according to the World Book, did a Dutchman named Cornelius van Drebbel, D R E W B E L, ever invent anything that makes the daily chores of American housewives easier? Yes or no? He invented a little thing. <laughs> hey, Dremel? Yes, uh, Cornelius Van Drebbel, did he invent yes. anything to make the housewife happy? Yes, he did. Peter, he, said, yes. he invented the, the, the dustpan, which has been used ever since. He said he did, whether it's the dustpan or not. He said he did invent something helpful. I'll disagree with that. Uh, you know what he made? He invented the first submarine. So it is no, not used to the housewife. You got the circle. Jimmy, it's your turn. Secret square game. Jonathan Winters. Jonathan, true or false? Elwood, true or false? Next year, the Farmer's Almanac will feature a nude centerfold. Is that true, Elwood? Boy, it's going to be a shock to a better part of my family. <laughs> We've always just seen ink drawings of plows and things. Uh, I suppose 1977, is that 77? That's next year, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Real good on my part. Yeah, I'd, I'd say yeah. He said, yeah, there'll be a new center for him. I disagree. Uh, never, never, says the publisher. You've got the block, and uh, Randy, it's your turn. George Clark, please. Not the secret square, but $250, Roy. True or false? A bee. A bee can go four million miles on a gallon of honey. million miles? On a gallon of honey, a bee. That's, uh, that's got to be ridiculous. No. <laughs> that's false. I'll agree. No, that is true. <laughs> uh, put an X there. Let me explain something. Now, you can win, Jimmy. I can say this because you, it, it's, it's possible to win with Connie, Paul, or Richard Roundtree. One is the secret square. 
Connie Stevens. And that's it. <laughs> Jimmy Yates from Philadelphia, visiting Southern California. Good luck on this. From okay, Philadelphia. Connie, special envelope. Please, audience, don't shout out any answers. What was Rudolph Valentino's last motion picture? Was it The Son of the Sheik, The Eagle, or Blood and Sand? <coughs> Rudolph Valentino's last motion picture. Son of the Sheik, The Eagle, or Blood and Sand? What's the second one, Peter? Uh, the Eagle. That's the one. The Eagle. The Eagle. I disagree. Son of the Sheik. X gets the square. <laughs> Congratulations, yes, Have you ever been up to Canada to pour back that uh, part of the... the no, I oh, it's gorgeous. You're going. You've got jewelry and a $1,000 gift certificate, and congratulations. Let's start another Secret Square game. Kenny? And this time, Circle starts the Secret Square for a complete kitchen featuring the Magic Chef side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer with energy-saving Econicol construction, 30-inch electric range with smooth ceramic wipe clean top, a microwave oven with seven solid-state heat control settings, and a red-button convertible dishwasher, all furnished by Magic Chef. Plus... A thousand dollar gift certificate from Color Tile Supermarts, featuring a giant selection of easy do-it-yourself floor and wall tiles and bathroom vanities furnished by Color Tile. And Olympic Overcoat is better than house paint, specifically formulated for redo over paint. Once you try Olympic Overcoat, you put it over paint every time. Also enjoy Panasonic's portable cassette recorder with FM AM weatherband radio and a 19-inch quattro color television featuring the Quintrek picture tube for the best color yet furnished by Panasonic. And year-round cooking on a charm glow gas grill, real barbecue flavor, instant flame that needs no starter fluid and leaves no ashes. The patio wagon plus all the necessary accessories for comfortable outdoor barbecuing furnished by Charm Glow products. Okay, Peter. Okay, let's show the home audience to Secret Square. And Randy, good luck, dear. Uh, George Goble, please. According to Father Lester's column, is there ever, ever a time when it is permissible to punch somebody in the mouth? Well, yeah, like if he backs into the church's new Chevy wagon. Uh, yeah, there's... Uh, he said, yeah, there's a time. time. I'll disagree. Yes, Father Lester says when it's the quickest... Uh, it's the quickest way to stop somebody from shouting obscenities. It's also the quickest way to get your neck broken, too, Father. But let's put an X there, Jimmy. John Davidson. Uh, John, according to the old, old saying, love makes something light. Yes. What? Peter, that saying is from Greek mythology, and it says that... L <laughs> Obviously, I have a lot of Greek mythology fans here tonight. Yes. Uh, it's love, love makes the heart grow, grow fonder. That's distance. L love, <laughs> love makes, makes, uh, what was it, what light? Uh, 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 love makes something light. L l yes, yes it does. <laughs> love makes, love makes, love, love makes the heart light. The heart. I disagree. Love <laughs> makes the world go. I thought that was it. No, labor. 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 Yeah, we're the next. Okay, Randy, you can. Call in, please. Paul. Is there anything, is there anything an elephant loves more than a big bag of peanuts? <laughs> the love scenes in Dumbo. Is there anything an elephant loves more than a big bag of peanuts? <laughs> uh, I think, yes, there's lots of things. You think, sure, there's lots of things. I'll disagree. Oh, yeah. In fact, peanuts aren't really that popular with them. They prefer coffee, donuts, and an occasional cigar butt. <laughs> Can't put an X there. Jimmy, uh, with, there's a secret square up there. It's worth over $4,400. We'll have you let you decide. See if you're a gambler, man. We'll have a commercial. We'll be right back, okay? It's worth $4,400. You're a gambler man? Let's find out. <laughs> Roy Clark. Hey, we got a gambler man here, Roy. True or false, a man from Maine was granted a divorce because his wife served pea soup for breakfast and dinner and even uh, put pea soup sandwiches in his lunch lunchbox. That's true or false. Pea soup sandwiches? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I bet you'd have to eat them in a hurry. <laughs> 
You know, that can go either way. But uh, just the fact that uh, that is mental cr uh, cruelty, I'd say yes. I disagree. That's true. Put a circle there. Randy? Um... Paul Lynn, please. Oh, okay, for the block. In baseball, Paul, there's a special name for the area between a player's knees and his armpits. What is it? Uh. A special name for the area in baseball between a player's knees and his armpits. What is it? Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? <laughs> He used dial. <laughs> That's silly. That's silly. What is that area called between in baseball between a player's knees and his armpits? Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, danger zone. The danger zone. I'll disagree. <laughs> That's pretty good. Those are strike zones. Yeah, okay, with a circle. Give me your turn. Jonathan Winters. Jonathan. True or false, Boom Boom? Listen, Boom Boom. True or false, one of Tokyo's, uh, one of Tokyo's Japan's top television stations has a nude, nude sportscaster. True or false? I was just there recently on a big business deal, and I know that there was most talked about show at the time because all the other shows people were watching, they didn't care. The minute this person came on, Top ratings. Uh, little person, but uh, I get a difference, apparently. I think uh, that might very well be true. Uh, That's close true. circuit. Again. Sure. One of Tokyo, Japan's top television stations has a nude sportscaster. Jonathan yes. says that's true. I disagree. That's true. Uh, that's false. Oh. <laughs> no. We put an X there. Okay, Randy. John Rivers, please. Johnny. Is there anyone in America who claims to be 133 years old and gets Social Security checks with regularity? What's Social Security got to do with regularity? Uh. But, um, <laughs> except what you buy with the money. But um, uh, is there anyone that's 100 and 133 how old? years old, gets Social Security checks. Oh, I would say yes. She said, yeah. I'll agree with that. Living in Bartow, Florida, the Social Security Administration recognizes Charlie Smith. Congratulations, Charlie, as the oldest living American. Good for you. All right, Jimmy, your turn. Connie Stevens. And that's the secret yeah. square. Yeah. Well, gambling man, this may pay off. Good luck on this. Special envelope. Connie, which of these was one of the famous series of Tarzan novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs? One was. Two are fictitious. Tarzan and the Chimp. Tarzan and Jane, or Tarzan and the Ant Men. One is legit. One of these was the by the famous uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs Tarzan picture. Tarzan and the Chimp, Tarzan and Jane, or Tarzan and the Ant Men. Tarzan and the Chimp. Tarzan and the Chimp. Jimmy. Uh, I disagree. Tarzan and the Ant Men. X gets the square. <laughs> Who said gambling doesn't pay, uh, Jimmy Yates? A gambling man from Philadelphia has got the complete kitchen, the barbecue, and the color TV, $4,400. Let's pause, and then we'll return and play a secret square game, and maybe Randy Morris will win one of these. I hope so. After this. And next starts in Secret Square. Enjoy a California-style vacation surrounded by European luxury at the Little America Westgate Hotel in San Diego, featuring beautifully decorated guest rooms, superb cuisine, and tickets to two San Diego attractions, all furnished by the Little America Westgate Hotel. And to get you there, an air-conditioned car furnished by Budget Rent-A-Car for fine transportation at competitive rates, available at airports and other locations nationwide. Budget Rent-A-Car. Also, rain dance car wax from DuPont lasts longer than any leading car wax. Water beating proves it. Take along a $500 resort for the Bittos jeans and tops that hug the curves. Tie tops, tank top, drawstrings, halter and t-shirts, hand painted and it's each one a work of art furnished by Dittos and a thousand dollar his and her custom archery set including Jennings compound bows target side super case and t-shirts a great family sport furnished by Jennings compound bows incorporated that's it Peter thank you let's show the home audience to keep it square give me a shot this game pick a star lonesome George George true or false the hottest selling book in red China is a sex manual featuring quotations from Chairman Mao I don't believe in them sex manuals you don't I'm my, my sex lover and I, I'm self-taught. 
Really? I'm not such a good lover, but that's because I'm not a very good teacher. <laughs> um, yes, yes. He said that's true. It's your question, Jim. I disagree. Oh, yeah. It's the first time the people of China have been allowed to purchase such a book. A break for you, Randy. Put a circle there. Richard Rountree, please. Uh, Richard, in France, a moviegoer has to pay a special tax to see a movie with something in it. To see what? Um, the pornography. Pornography. I'll agree with that. No. It's a good idea, by the way. Lots of violence. England has been considering a similar tax. Violence. You have to pay an extra uh, a, a tax thing there. Well, turn about fair play with the next. Jimmy? Nanette Fabre. And that's the third secret square. Jimmy, this would give you in secret squares alone, let me see, 66, 76, 86, close to $9,000. Good luck on this. Nanette, oh. at the Moulin Rouge, at the Moulin Rouge, uh, is one of the most famous paintings of the last 100 years. Who did the painting at the Moulin Rouge? Degas, Renoir, or Toulouse-Lautrec? Lautrec. Lautrec. I agree. Absolutely. Yes, X gets the square. We'll go to John. No, we'll go to John right after. I, I want to talk to me, but he's one here. He's got that. Now you're going to Canada. You got that vacation. San Diego holiday. The Deans. You, you good at bows and arrows? I will be soon. Yes, you got a thousand dollar archery set. Congratulations. Now back to the matter of money now, Randy. Jonathan Winters, please. All right, Jonathan, Sir Trafalgar. What yes. color eyes does Queen Elizabeth have? Well, I remember when I was a child, they were quite green. <laughs> and uh, I was a child, too, and I was quite close to her. Uh, I was right at the fence. Really? Of course, they changed, I suppose. Uh, it's been some time since I've been home. I would imagine that they're blue. Blue. She has blue eyes. I'll agree with that. She has blue eyes. Yes, you got a circle there. Okay, Jimmy. Connie Stevens. Connie, true or false? If something of yours is dilating, dilating, it would be getting bigger. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Sure, that's right. Okay, you got an next pair. Paul, true or false? NASA has announced that the first passengers aboard test flights of the proposed space shuttle will be pigs. I don't think lady astronauts are picked on the basis of their looks. <laughs> Was that you ladies uh, astronauts yes. out there, huh? <laughs> no, that's fun. That is our tacky buzzer, which means the time is up. But it's worth an extra $50 for Randy Morris. Uh, NASA has announced that the first passengers aboard test flights of the proposed space shuttle will be pigs. True or false? True. True. I'll agree. You know why? Because their body structure and internal organs closely resemble humans. And that is true. So we put an extra uh, little circle there and we add up the story. Well, Randy, no secret graves this evening and no games won, except you have three circles there. They're worth $50 a piece, so we have $150 Fantastic. for you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, and lovely party gift. You're a delightful young lady in a, a good contestant, really. Thank you. Hey, Jimmy! You're going to drive to Philadelphia. Well, first of all, you've won, I think, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, mm, about $8,400 in secret huh. squares, $650 in cash, and you've got a brand new car. Congratulations. Hey. Jimmy Ames. This is Kenny Williams. It's the Datsun B210. The next is like power front disc brakes, tinted glass, full refining bucket seats, nylon carpeting, all vinyl upholstery, white sidewall tires, and full wheel covers. The economical B210 furnished by Datsun. Thank you, Kenny Williams. Thank you, stars. We'll see you here next time on the Hollywood Squares. And if you're in Vegas, Connie Stevens will be at the Hilton, probably. Game Show Network presents Whammies Through History. In the past, whammies were productive members of society, working in such fields as pest control, gardening, food service industries, and even government. But today, can you hear me now? whammies have become a menace, a threat to everything we prize and big buck thieves. Whammies are back, bigger and better than ever. It's Whammy tonight at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, only on Game Show Network. This has been a Merrill Heater, Bob Quigley Productions.